there. Okay. All that stuff is made of you can basically have a couple of well, nine fun box and this wine in the center. The end is kind of like that, up to where those guys are painting. Okay. Except where it's blue, we have the other half. Okay. Curves yeah, yeah. Up into halves. Okay. The, uh, the 10 foot quarter has a radius of 12 feet, so I had enough people complain. So is the radius so steeper? The radius is right there, it's 9.5 feet. Okay. With 4 inches of vert at the top, oh. and it's, it's double. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're going to get some. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, big. Yeah. And then we have kind of a weird thing. I have to draw a picture to show you what's happening there. That's next year. Oh, cool. that quarter's going to be a big for sure. It's even as. Mellow as, uh, as mellow as it was, it got skied like I know, I know. Like so Chris Charles forward like a tenth of air. Yeah, yeah. Well, Chris is here. Chris was riding yesterday and he, he fell. He thought he so Catfish, yeah. you do a little interview with us over here yeah, by where yeah. these guys are, okay. just stand up here on top of here. Yeah. Catfish, what do you think of the uh, the BMX bike park down here? Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, it's the, the ramps are built really well. Um, they're a little bit weathered, but um, you're going to have that in Toronto. Um, it's uh, it's awesome. The, the turnout here yesterday was great. I'm sure the turnout's going to be really good here today. Uh, this is just an, an awesome sp spot for kids to ride. I wish I had something like this near me. Uh, my closest park to ride is, is an hour and a half away. So uh, all these kids here in Toronto, you guys are lucky. Uh, you know, you where are you from, here. Catfish? I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Um, probably a good nine, ten hours from here. Um, if it was a little bit closer, I'd be here a lot more. But um, yeah, this is amazing. You guys, uh, all you BMXers should be uh, very, very thankful. You have good people like Mike Eaton making things happen like this. So uh, I'm very jealous of everything you guys have. You guys got a good scene here. <laughs> now, uh, the guys painting back there, it looks like they're painting a BMXer going around the corner. We got a lot of graffiti art on here. What do you think of that? I think, I think it's awesome. It's, it's cool because um, that's one of those lost arts. Um, it, the, the parallels between uh, graffiti and BMX are real similar. A lot of private owners don't want them don't want these uh, these guys on the property and they don't realize that it's an art form and it's rad that we're uh, able to combine the two both BMX and uh, and graffiti you know that it really is an art those guys are so incredibly talented and it's awesome they're able to hit, put on put put some work here uh, today and actually for us to get to be able to watch it like go down right now in person is awesome you get a website I do have a website uh, you can check out catfishcatfish.com uh, dkbicycles.com and